Robotic arms are one of the original algorithmic automation tools. Initially used to replace workers doing extremely repetitive work on automated assembly lines, they have become more sophisticated and are now used in most potentially hazardous activities in industry. Welding, riveting, moving heavy objects, and increasingly used when precision and reliability are required, such as in creating microchips. But students should not see robotic arms as they would traditional human arms. Robot arms are any automated system that is fixed in one place, or can be placed on mobile robots. Robot arms are defined by the number of joints, allowing either rotational motion, such as in an articulated robot, or translational linear displacement, such as in 2D plotters or 3D printers. Articulated arms have a number of joints, each of which is controlled by an actuator, a motor that can be precisely rotated to a specific point, and these are usually described by the degrees of freedom that these joints then provide. So this arm has five degrees of freedom. It has five actuators or motors that allow rotation in different directions and to different degrees. While this motor from Maker Block has four degrees of freedom, with four motors or actuators allowing it to move in various locations. And this one is used as a plotter to draw on a whiteboard. So one advantage of the Maker Block system is that students can not only just learn how to follow instructions and build a robot arm, plotters or 3D printers, but they can also design their own and come up with entirely new solutions. A cake decorating plotter, or a stop motion camera, or a tool for use in a gardening system. Now robot arms usually have attachments on their hands to perform different tasks. Now, these may be grippers, suction cups, laser cutters, pens, screwdrivers, and a whole range of other devices. And likewise, translational displacement arms can also have pens and cutters and lasers and a range of other tools and implements. We see this most commonly for 3D printers, where traditional plastic extrusion can be replaced with icing extrusions to decorate cakes or pizza topping dispensers. And by understanding how the technology works and how the software to control it can be modified and written themselves, students can develop entirely new solutions to problems that require the accurate positioning and application of tools.